when Abraham was old, and the Lord had blessed him in all things. Abraham said to the servant who had served him the longest and was in charge of all he owned, Put your hand under my thigh and swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and earth, that you will not choose a wife for my son of the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I am living, but that you will go to my homeland, to my kindred, and choose a wife for my son Isaac. Suppose the woman is not willing to follow me to this land. Must I then bring your son back to the land from which you came? Do not bring my son back there. The Lord, the God of heaven, who took me away from my father's house and away from the land I was born in, who swore to me, I will give this land to your descendants. He will send his angel ahead of you, and you shall bring a wife to my son from there. But if the woman is not willing to follow you, then you are released from this oath of mine. Only do not bring my son back there. Then the servant put his hand under the thigh of Abraham, his master, and swore to him concerning this matter. The servant took ten of his master's camels and all kinds of gifts from his master and went to Mesopotamia, to the city of Nahor. As evening approached, when the women went out to draw water, he had his camels kneel down by a well outside the city. And the servant said, O oh Lord God of my master Abraham, Please grant me success today and show your kindness to my master Abraham. Here I am, standing by the well of water, and the daughters of the men of the city are coming out to draw water. I will say to one of the young women, Please lower your pitcher that I may drink. If she answers, Drink, and I will give water to your camels as well, then let her be the one you intend for your servant Isaac. This is how I will know that you have shown kindness to my master. Before the servant had finished speaking, Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Milcah, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, came out with her pitcher upon her shoulder. The young woman was very beautiful and a virgin. She went down to the well, filled her pitcher, and came up. Abraham's servant ran to meet her and said, uh, Please, give me a little water to drink from your pitcher. Drink, my lord. And Rebekah immediately lowered her pitcher onto her arm and gave him a drink. When she was done letting him drink, she said, I will also draw water for your camels until they are done drinking. Rebecca quickly emptied her pitcher into the trough and ran to the well to draw more water. She continued to draw water for all his camels. And the servant watched her, waiting to see whether the Lord had made his trip successful or not. When the camels were done drinking, the servant took a gold ring and two gold bracelets and asked, Whose daughter are you? And uh, please tell me, is there room in your father's house for us to spend the night? I am the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Milcah, whom she bore to Nahor. We have plenty of straw and food for your animals and room for you to spend the night. Then the servant bowed his head and worshipped the Lord, saying, Blessed be the Lord, God of my master Abraham, who has not forsaken his love for my master. The Lord has guided me to the house of my master's relatives. And the young woman ran off and told those of her mother's house what had happened. Now Abraham was old, well advanced in years, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. And Abraham said to his servant, the oldest of his household, 
who had charge of all that he had, Put your hand under my thigh, that I may make you swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and God of the earth, that you will not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I dwell, but will go to my country and to my kindred, and take a wife for my son Isaac. Genesis chapter 24, verses 1 to 4.